watch this video, then we'll talk. He just says, I, I don't want a child. Even if I'd been with you for three years, I wouldn't want a child. I don't want to. That's why I haven't got a dog, <gasps> which I found really bad comparison. He doesn't have a dog because he doesn't, he doesn't want the responsibility, so definitely doesn't want a child. So I messaged him after, about a week after the 15-week scan, and I said, um, along the lines of, hi, I'm having a girl. Um, I want to call her Penelope Thornett, that's my family name, but I was advised to just run it past you and get permission from you. To which he responded then the following day or two. Um, well, once obviously his PR team had had a good look at it. And he'd, um, I can't remember the specifics of the message without looking, but the message basically said, um, that is your miracle baby. I do not need you to tell me every detail. You do not need to run names or anything past me going forward. Um, it is your miracle baby. It is not mine. You know how I feel about the situation, but you wanted to keep it, so, so be it. You are not the exception to any man's rule. It don't matter how many sweet nothings he says while you are in bed, poised, canoodling. It don't matter how many family trips vacations whatever you've been if that man don't want kids and then because of you hear him you know this and you think oh but you know he loves me oh but i'm different oh but as soon as you decide I'm keeping this baby. Right? Honestly, as I've said many times before, even if you are married, the moment that you decide to have that baby, to continue with that pregnancy until the baby comes here, you are also signing up to be a single mother. You cannot say, you don't know how long that man, that relationship is going to be, but that man also let her know from the beginning and she thought that she was special she thought that she was so different she thought that in his eyes that she was the exception to the rule that her baby that because it was their shared baby and she was the special factor in it that he would want the baby and I know that in the beginning of this she said that oh well like he said I don't even have a dog a lot of people couples and individuals before they have kids just to see what co-parenting would be like to see what discipline to see how that their household would change a lot of people before they get the baby they get a pet they get a dog they get an animal that's nice and lively kind of bumping into things like a toddler you know so and he says i don't even i don't even have that I know the level of responsibility that I want to participate in, and it is zero. Arguably, if it could be less than zero, I would be underneath the bar when it comes to responsibility. That's what I signed up for. Now, she should have been on, well, it sounds like she wanted the baby. It was referred to, I don't know who that woman is, and I don't know who the man that she, who the boob is that she was having relations with. It does not matter to me. Why? Because this is a tale as old as time. Also, for those of you who are new here, hi, my name is Shayna. I'm a journalist. I'm also very child-free. And uh, I talk a lot about decentering men, child-free living, travel, all of that stuff on this page. So if any of that sounds like a vibe, please like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. If I say something great um, or that resonates, always appreciate a super thanks. And I don't know where it is on the screen, but uh, if you could click that little button so that way you could be alerted whenever I have new videos, that would be fantastic. Now, as I was saying, what this woman did is no different than when people say, oh, well, um, our marriage is kind of falling apart, but you know what'll fix it? A baby. Oh, I think he's thinking about leaving me. Oh, I, I feel like uh, we're on the, but you know what will plaster this shattered vase together? A baby. If this is you, if this is somebody that you know, if this is a thought that is vaguely percolating in your mind, please, for the love of God, hear me. A baby will fix nothing. Having a baby in a tumultuous situation will amplify the disorder 
that will lead to the inevitable demise of the relationship that is already disintegrating in your hands. But you know what makes that even worse? Because now you have a sand relationship. It's not even a vase, it's just sand. It's just sediment, atoms. But you got a whole baby too. <laughs> you can't even put that baby in your, in your hand. You got it in your arm, it's right under here now. No relationship and a baby. And that's you. And I'm not talking to the men's. I'm not talking to the men's. This page is for the girls and the girls. Okay, so this is all about how we can navigate these kinds of situations so that way we are not privy, so that we are not subjected to the ongoing, indefinite uh, consequences of the actions that we do to try and save failing relationships. Listen, if you want a baby, go get yourself a baby, right? Now, I because I would be remiss if I did not tell you this. If you want a baby, go get yourself a baby. It's not my it's not my cup of tea, but listen, everybody loves their cafe somewhere. Anyway, so if you are the kind of person that's like, oh, but I just really want a baby, get yourself financially situated first. Completely solo, get yourself financially situated first. There are some people that are living very happy, like stay at home, wife, mom, whatever that sprinkle sprinkle lifestyle. There's a lot, there are people that are out there doing that. If that is not you, do not assume that that will eventually be you. If you want a baby, if you really, if that clock is itching, <laughs> itchy clocks, ew. But if that's something that you really, get yourself financially situated, please, for the love of God. Because if you don't, and you are holding on to a man and his love and his words and his dreams and oh my soundcloud mixtape is gonna go viral soon if you're holding on to something like that you've got sand in your hand do you really want a baby with sand in your hand this woman was trying to make a vase out of sand in her hand and now she's got and i'm sure that baby's cute I'm sure that baby's adorable. And that man, he's got a team. He's got a PR team, which means he's probably big people somewhere, right? It's just, he said, he made it, he made it clear from the beginning, I don't want a kid. Now, was he irresponsible in how they were like having sex and whatever, because clearly he did what he did. And then she also did what she did. Two sides of irresponsibility. Somebody should have been on birth control, but she wanted a baby. He did not, but he was irresponsible. And she said, oh my goodness, but he loves me. And now you got a bunch of people watching this video, watching this interview going, judging her because of the relationship that she made with Abuga. And I'm sure Penelope is a little sun drop, but my goodness. And I know that she thought that she did something with that interview. And this is not to judge her. This is to educate us. So that way we don't repeat these kinds of cycles. So once again, if you are thinking, oh my goodness, maybe I'm the exception to the rule. You're not, you're not. The baby that you cultivate, the, the fetus that grows with it, that's your fetus. That's your body, that is your baby. So what you gonna do? What you gonna do? That's all, that's all, that's all I'm putting out there. So th this lady, this lady, my name, <laughs> all I know is my name is Shana. And I like these kinds of conversations and I want y'all to stay safe out there. It's wild. It's wild. Stay, stay as baby free as possible. Jeez. But let's, once again, I don't have an itchy clock. So what am I, who am I to tell you how to live your life? That's all of my thoughts for now. But uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please tippity tap them away in the comment section and I will talk to you later. Bye.